What's going on everyone? CP Mortar here back with another video and today we're going to make our old power supply into a desktop testing unit. Now the idea behind this is so you can go ahead and test your fans and various other little accessories, maybe even test and pull data off a hard drive using a laptop without having to have an external dock or some sort of external power supply that could cost you some serious dollars. If you've ever built a computer before or maybe you just have an old one lying around, you're definitely going to have one of these power supplies lying around, which means you can go ahead and do this. And also too, it's just really handy to have something with a 12 volt circuit on it that you can go ahead and plug in something into. Whether whether it be again a computer part or even something different such as a light or LED strip. So today we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's just get into what we're going to need to actually go ahead and make our old power supply into a desktop testing unit. First thing we need is obviously the power supply. Now it doesn't really matter what power supply you have, doesn't really matter what brand is. What we're going to be doing with this is such low current and low voltage that we shouldn't really worry about it. But up to you what you want to get. But it needs to have a power switch on the back for switching it on and off. It just makes things a whole lot easier. If your power supply doesn't have one, maybe try and get yourself with an actual switch on the back. We'll also too need a paper clip. Try and get one that is metal exposed like this one that we have here and not one of those ones that are wrapped up in um, like that plastic material stuff. Try and get a raw paper clip. We'll also too need some electrical tape or well basically just electrical tape. Try not to use duct tape or gaff tape but it is usable but just try and stay with the electrical tape right there. We'll also too need a knife as well as a pair of side cutters or something to cut through the paper clip with as we will be trimming it down and well basically that's about it obviously we'll need the power connector to the actual power point but really that's all we're gonna need for this particular mod and if you're looking for the tools and stuff we have a video up right there to go ahead and find yourself the tools that we have here right today and the paper clip literally cost less than a cent so to basically do this mod you're looking at less than a dollar if you already have the tools from again that video up there or linked down below one more thing I did want to also to mention today is that we are playing with electricity and power supplies and there is a potential for you to be electrocuted so just be careful with what you're doing and you should be just fine but I do have to warn you guys that there is a potential for you to zap yourself especially on that paper clip that's why we have the electrical tape which is what we'll get to in just a moment however again just be careful be sensible and don't electrocute yourself and with that being said let's get started first things first let's grab ourselves a workspace and put our power supply on it what we're gonna do is dis Disconnect it from the power point, flip the switch to the off position and if you have a computer lying around, plug the power supply into that computer and just push that power supply button a couple of times to make sure there's no residual current left over. However, that step is sort of optional but I do recommend it so if you can, try and do that. Once we've gone ahead and made sure the power supply is disconnected from the wall and has no power in it, what we're going to do is go ahead and locate our 24 pin connector which should look a little bit like this. Now what we're actually going to be doing is taking the paper clip and tricking the power supply to thinking it's actually meant to be turned on by bridging a green wire with a black wire which we'll get to in just a moment. But if you have a sleeved power supply or your power supply doesn't have any coloured cables such as the ones on the Corsair RM series, you can find this image right here to reference off in just a moment. Once we've gone ahead and located the 24 pin, we can again locate that green wire or this one that is being shown on this picture diagram right here. Once we have the green wire, we can go ahead and put one side of the paper clip into the power supply green wire and the other into the black end. Now, if your power supply is sleeved, you may have to pull back your sleeving to reveal the colours or sort of just move the sleeving around so you can actually see what colours the wires are. Now, just about every power supply out there has a green wire as that is again the signal wire to turn the power supply on or off so it's always going to be there we're going to bridge it though with a black wire either on the left or right depending on what you want to use now at this stage what we're going to do is just go ahead and make sure the power supply actually works now that we've bridged the connection go ahead and plug the power supply back into the power point flip that switch make sure that little piece of metal that is off our paper clip isn't touching anything or you in particular and if it all works the power supply fan should spin up once we've verified that it is working flip the power supply to the off position, wait for the power supply fan to spin down and now we can go ahead and trim back the little paper clip that we have right here with our wire cutters or whatever you're going to be using to go ahead and make it sit a little bit more flush with the rest of the connector. What we're going to do now is tape off the connector so we don't zap ourselves with this piece of wire and we're basically done at this stage. Now if you did want to spend a little bit of money on this project you can actually just go ahead and buy little connectors that connect onto the 24 pin connector and you don't have to use this kind of solution 
solution, but nonetheless, it is an awesome free way to get your power supply working without it plugged into a computer. And at this stage, you can go ahead and test your fans, your lights, your hard drives, whatever you want to test with this particular power supply, and it should work just fine. Fine. Again, keep in mind you are playing with electricity, so things might get a little bit dodgy. However, if you're sensible, it should be just fine. And with that, that is all we have here for today. A quick and simple mod to go ahead and make your old power supply actually useful in your test bench workstation and can also to double as even charges for other devices. Let me know down below what you personally would use this for and let me know if you've already done this and what other mods you would like to see. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. What?